Hi everybody, the Golden Era Bookworm here bringing you Your Physique, August 1947. Look at this epic shot of Eric Pedersen holding his trophy. Eric Pedersen painted by, of course, George Quaintance. Now why do I like this particular magazine? I'll tell you why. It's got a phenomenal section on Steve Reeves. I'm a big fan of Steve Reeves. Actually recently been watching his Hercules films. And here we go. I'm actually going to do a separate video on Mr. Pacific Coast 1947. I'm going to start dedicating more videos to Steve Reeves. But having a look here, Mr. Pacific Coast won by none other than Steve Reeves. And if you would just read what is said by this, <laughs> by this author here, Walt Marcin. I'll just read the, the very first bit. I'll actually save most of it for the video I'll make. But I'll just give you some close-up shots of the phenomenal Steve Reeves. Steve Reeves, Mr. Pacific Coast of 1947. This is an interesting flashlight photo of commanding excellence of Steve Reeves' mighty muscles. His posing took the audience by storm and well did he deserve to be the winner. Over six feet tall and weighing 100, oh sorry, 215 pounds, this boy is soon to go places and do things. Among the finalists watching Steve are Bill Trombo and Eric Pedersen from the cover. The author just hails Steve's, Steve Reeves and who wouldn't? I will do a separate video on this particular competition. I think this is before he won 1947 Mr. America. And he was already looking like a champion there. Another great article here is on Mr. California, Eric Pedersen from the cover. Eric Pedersen is displayed here with some amazing photos showing his thickness, thick chest, thick arms, thick legs, thick calves for the, his period, looking still very aesthetic, phenomenal physique. I'll also do a separate video on Eric Pedersen. I think these photos command a separate video. Another great article is on John Farbotnik and his chess program. There are some great photos of John Farbotnik that I've seen in other Your Physique magazines. And you can really see the thickness of his chest and his arms. And although he's had many, many leg accidents, which lack, I guess, more in development, you can see that his upper body is very well developed. And no wonder he came um, first in the best chess composition, uh, competition in the Mr. America of 1946. There he is actually showing his trophy and well deserved. He actually shows you his chess program here with all these different exercises. I'm also going to dedicate a separate video to this because I think it deserves it. It's, he was a great champion in his day and I'm sure most people would like to know his routine because he was most likely natural just like all these other guys here. Fantastic. Uh, some more interesting articles were, there were so many competitions in this <laughs> in this uh, magazine. It's really hard to pick and choose. Um, this was the New York State Weightlifting Champions Championships and the Mr. New York State of 1947. And what's so great about this article is that we find out that Kevil Daddy, Daly, sorry, Kevil Daly, Mr. Metropolitan of 1947, won this title, the Mr. New York State, as well as the lifting. He took it all. He just wiped out the competition. So he wins Mr. Metropolitan and Cavill uh, uh, Daly from British Guinea entered the New York State Weightlifting Championships at only 180 pounds. And look how aesthetic he looks. And he stole the show, as, as the author says. Uh, this is reported by acquaintance, of course. Photos by Lon, who was, was typical for the waiter mags at the time. He uh, outlifted all the heavyweights in his class he, at only 180 pounds. So he was uh, not the heavyweight. He was, I think, a middleweight. And he beat the heavyweights <laughs> um, in their lifting. He totaled more. A total of 115 pounds in all the lifts. Incredible. Much better than the heavyweights. And then after that, he steps up and wins the physique contest, the Mr. New York State. During the same event, we had George Eiferman and Alan Stephen both posing. I mean, can you imagine this show? 
Can you imagine this night? What a fantastic night. You see, this guy steal the show, and you get Mr. American George Eiferman, who's Mr. Philadelphia, you know, posing. What what a phenomenal night. I wish I wish I I, I could have said I, I, I saw that I saw that uh, uh, night, but I'm I was way too I was un, I was not born at the time, but I could imagine what a phenomenal night it must have been. And we also have Mr. Uh, New York City of 1947, Eugene Dubuque, who was in the previous cover of Your Physique. And that was July. That's Eugene Dubuque there, remember? Previous video. Mr. Eugene Dubuque. And many in the audience actually were not satisfied that he won the Mr. New York City of 1947. But the author, Lon Hannigan, who was present, believes it was because of his showmanship. And it was really, this is the first time that I read in an, in an article that focuses so much on not just the ability to pose. In this case, Lon Hannigan mentions that being a professional in competition is very important. It's not just who has the biggest muscles and who flexes the best, but to flow from one pose to the other with rhythm like a dance and to stand with poise even when you're not flexing or posing, controlling the facial expressions. In essence, that bodybuilder, or that is what bodybuilding, I guess, that, that bodybuilder that shows that is a showman. And that really is what bodybuilding is about, isn't it? It's a performance art. And this is an awesome article. I really enjoyed it. Uh, another interesting article <laughs> was Novel Apparatuses for Leg Development. And here we have the very first calf machine. Unbelievable. These machines didn't exist. And in 1947, George Weaver reports the ingenious invention of Tony Sansoni in his gym will help you build sturdy calves. Indeed it would. I mean, I thought Joe Gold was the first to really come up with all these ideas, but I'm wrong. That is a wall calf machine with a pipe at the bottom to allow the foot to roll down, right? The first calf machine, incredible. And apparently the first Roman chair for abdominals and for the upper thighs. Very, very interesting. Very interesting. So, that brings me to, I guess, the end. I'm actually, there's also The Life of Louis Sir. There's actually a recent movie that came out, I think in 2013. On the life of Louis Sir. I haven't watched it. I plan to. But I'm actually going to make a separate video on the life of Louis Sir. And I'm actually going to remake a lot of my other videos on the life of, for example, Sandow. And his great achievements. Because these are actually split in four parts or five parts. So I don't think it's a good idea just to make a short video on it right now. I'd rather group all the articles together. They are the most important articles I found and most interesting articles of Your Physique. As I mentioned, for August 1947, I will be doing other um, separate videos, for example, on, as I mentioned, John Farbotnik's chest development routine, Mr. Eric Pedersen, Mr. California, 1947, and of course, the great Steve Reeves, Mr. Pacific Coast, 1947, who went on to win the Mr. America 1947. So I'll be doing separate videos for those. I hope you've enjoyed the review of Your Physique August 1947. If you like the video, please give it some thumbs up, subscribe, share. Thank you for watching. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. I hope I see you again. Bye.